Hi, my love viewers. How are you guys doing today? Today we're going to do something super fun on my channel. We are going to open three months in a row of the Glam Bag Plus and go ahead and see if we think it is worth it. Ipsy Glam Bag Plus costs $27.99 plus $1.99 handling fee, which brings it to almost $30. So I've got three months that I haven't even opened up. We're going to go ahead and open each one of those and discuss if we think it's worth the $30. I'm going to start with August and then go to July and then go to June. So let's go ahead and get right into August bag. Here's what it looks like. It is super pretty and definitely feels like summer. This reminds me of Hawaii. And here's the card. The theme is Hotel Paradise and we don't get the items in here. So we're just going to have to try to guess retail values because I'll have no clue. But um, First thing I'm pulling out is Dr. Zenovia Aloe Vera Blemish Soothing Moisturizer, Clear Complexion. So what bothers me about this is this is um, for people that have um, acne sensitive skin. And there were two of these in different categories. So I could have picked two separate things for acne skin when I have mature dry skin. I'm not sure why these even showed up in my choices when I have filled out my profile. And Ipsy is supposed to follow your profile. Um, so I'm not even going to open that. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but we have an acne soothing moisturizer. Next thing I'm pulling out is pharmacy, and it says filling good. This is their hyaluronic acid plumping serum. I definitely picked this. I love hyaluronic acid. I'm definitely happy to have this, and I like pharmacy. So that is item number two. My third item is this. Aloe Glow System, and this is a radiant serum with Alma and Hyaluronic treatment for dewy, bouncy, illuminated skin for all skin types. So another hyaluronic acid um, product, but I really like that, so I'm happy to have two of those. I always like to have backups of things because I keep one in my um, work bag and I keep one at home, so I don't have to worry about um, transferring things back and forth and making sure I have stuff when I'm at work because I know I always have it because I never take it out of my bag. Here's another thing I chose. This is by Supergoop, and it is their Unseen Sunscreen. It's SPF 40. I have had one of these, and it's bigger. I thought this was going to be bigger. This is small. It's only one ounce. And last thing, they definitely chose this for me. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And I don't hardly ever do my brows. Um, I think I already have this, so we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do with a lot of this stuff, but... All right, that was August. Want to recap real quick? Got the brow product, a sunscreen, the glow serum, the hyaluronic acid serum from pharmacy, and then this acne moisturizer right there. All right, we will go ahead and move on to July. Here is what the bag looks like in July. Very pretty and colorful. Definitely feels like summer. Reminds me of lemonade. And there must be some add-ons in here because this thing is huge. All right, soak it all in was the theme that month. And again, no products. I guess they get pointers in there. So I'm not gonna be sure what, let me try to figure it out. What I picked, what they picked for me, and if I added something on. One, two. Three, four, five, six. All right. Here is Symbiosis London. We got this in BoxyCharm, and it's always in their add-on sales. Tightening and brightening eye mask. This is full size for an eye mask, so this is not a sample that I added on. Next thing is Needle Less Solution Line Smoothing Concentrate from Gold Fadden MD. I probably would have picked something like that unless they picked it for me. It says that the problem is for deep lines, so I definitely can use that at nighttime. Apply one to two drops on clean skin. For optimal results, use morning and night. All right, next thing. Wing Me Ambitious Violet. I got an eyeshadow palette, and I feel like I remember, I might have picked two eyeshadow palettes. I'll try to figure out what was an add-on, because there are six things. Ambitious Violet. Looks like that, those are pretty colors. Sure, it looks like other palettes I have, but when I had a choice of a palette, I went ahead and picked it. They're great for giveaways, um, or to give to Shyla, or just to have backups of 
you know, different kinds of palettes you want to try. And this is by Wing Me, like I said. And then I have this, Aricelli. Oh, it's a highlighter, so it's not two palettes. And I would not have added this on, so I definitely know this is not it. The Tequila Highlighter. I've got so many highlighters. I've got probably 10 of the Ofra highlighter, and definitely don't need another one, so they definitely chose this for me. Unless it was a really cheap add-on, which I doubt it. This is definitely full size. And that is what it looks like. That's a pretty dark highlighter for me. Uh, maybe in the summer? I don't know. But that was item number four. And then, oh, this must be my little $3 add-on. It's a matte lipstick from Context. And for it to be $3, it's a full-size lipstick worth, I don't know, 20 So I did go ahead and add this on for $3. Let's see if we can look at the color. It is Tears Are Falling. It's a fun name. And it looks like that. That's definitely a pretty color. And then the last thing that they must have picked for me or I picked for myself is this Glow From The Outside In Facial Cleanser and Anti-Aging Device. Huh. Interesting. Here's what the box looks like. Looks like that. Looks very fancy. Oh yeah, this is cool. And I think I picked this. And it looks like that. This reminds me of, um, what did we get before? I know we got one of these in Fat Fit Fun a long time ago. And I will definitely use this. This is a nice size to take to work. And you just use it when you're cleansing your skin. It uh, vibrates and it helps to get the cleanser deeper into your pores so you get a better clean. And it does come with a little charging cable right there. And this will be perfect to take on the road. It comes with a little travel bag. So I think July was pretty good. We got the, that's tank. We got the um, cleanser tool, facial cleanser and anti-aging device. You can also use it to rub your serums in. And we got a highlighter. We got an eyeshadow palette. And we got this awesome needleless deep wrinkle moisturizer. And then somebody else just lent in this it looks like it's only about half full. You probably can't tell, but when I look at the light this way, it does. But this is supposedly worth like $100. So July was not a bad month. And let's move into June. This is big too. I bet there's add-ons in here. We will see. Let me pull up the card. And I definitely see one add-on right there. June, show your colors. All right, here comes Tank. Hi, honey. Where are you going? Okay, good boy. All right. Show your colors. Again, no products. Um, go ahead and pull this bag out. Um, looks like that definitely reminds me of summer. We've got popsicles. All right, first thing we have is a vitamin C from Rodile Brightening Cleanser, and it brightens and renews with lactic acid glycolic acid and fruit acid complex. Happy to have that. I will definitely use that. Next thing I see is Volution. And we like that mushroom serum that we got, like water mushroom or whatever that was. That was really good. And this is Hibiscus Unspotting Correcting Oil. So another thing for uh, discolorations, which you really need in the summer because the sun can give H spots. So we've got two items for that. So that makes sense to get in June. Next thing is Complex Culture, which is Ipsy's owned uh, beauty brand. We've gotten some really nice um, brushes from them. And this is a bronzer. Here is the packaging. It just looks like that. That's pretty. Don't know where the little flavor saver went. It took a dive. All right, next thing is this. Banana setting powder. I feel like I added this on because it was um, $3 to add on. I'll keep going through the other things and see if I can figure it out. But we got a banana setting powder in the color medium. Yep, because here's two of those. <laughs> and then I got this little $3 Tatcha. And this is their Indigo Overnight Repair. That's nice. That's a really cute little size for a sample. I think that was, again, like $3. And then... Dr. Brandt. This must have been in my bag. It's the Triple Antioxidant Face Cream. I like this. I've had the 
eye cream, I think, and other different Dr. Brandt day creams, and I always really like them. So there's that, and it's usually really expensive. All right, what else is in here? Oh, and this is another add-on. I'm gonna have to try to figure out what the five full size things are, because I have a PMD, and I don't remember getting to pick one of those, because they're really good. I've seen other people get to pick these and their choices, and I feel like I added this for $15 or $18. They're usually worth about $99. So a PMD, and I know I added this for $3.50. Spongel, I think their add-ons went up to $3.50. So this, again, would have been $3.50, not $3. And then these two would have been $3.50. So one, two, three, four things. I wonder if that PMD did come in my bag. I'll have to look back. I will let you guys know. I'll put it up here in writing somewhere um, if I got that for one of my choices, because that would make this an amazing bag. But we'll go ahead and recap with what I think I know. We've got the Volution, and this is the Correcting Oil, the Triple Antioxidant Face Cream for Dr. Brandt, the Bronzer, the Rodile Vitamin C Cleanser. And then I'm guessing this is the fifth thing, the PMD. And of course, I got some add-ons. So that is my three-month review. Those are three months of seeing the kinds of products you can get for $30. I think this month was definitely worth it if that PMD came in it. I really like July. August was just kind of so-so for me because there were two choices for people that are prone for acne, like acne skin, and I don't have that, so I don't know why those are my choices. So that's why I was disappointed in August, and that's why I skipped September. So I'm definitely not getting September. But that was it. Let me know in the comments below, is Ipsy Glam Bag Plus worth the price, or are they kind of getting so-so? I know that they've gone up and downhill <laughs> over the years as we've kind of, you know, been with them, and I don't know. I've skipped it a lot. I think I'd cancel it, actually, for now, but we'll see if I'll join back up again. But Thanks for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are doing great, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.